Hi everyone, my name is Samantha Smiley and this is the Balm Makeup Challenge. If you haven't heard of it, it is the black owned makeup brands challenge. When I saw Jackie Ina do this video, I was so happy that she called on not only the people that are well known on YouTube, but also the people that aren't. And if you don't know who Jackie Ina is, you should check out her channel. She is super talented and gorgeous. At this point in time, I think it's so important to stand up for people. No matter who you are or where you come from, you deserve love and you deserve support. So this is why I did this video. I hope it's also fun for you guys to just check out all the new products with me. I tried to go on my comfort zone. I got some colorful shades of eyeshadows and I got some caterpillar lashes. I also got a mild brown lip color and it's kind of my favorite. In other liquid lips, I feel like it just completely just washes out my natural color. Maybe this was just a really good shade that I feel like matched my skin tone really well. This is the first time I've just gone online, done my research, looked for all black owned makeup companies, and they deliver. This is the first time I'm trying them and maybe you'll like something too and um, you'll feel inspired to do a video as well. So. Check it out. Okay, so this is plainjanebeauty.net and I found their cream mineral foundation. What I really liked about their promise with this foundation is that it's gonna be barely there but also give you coverage and I'm literally all about it. I am honestly so surprised. I've never tried anything like this and I kind of feel like it's what I've been missing. I'm adding most of my coverage across the bridge of the nose. It definitely smells organic. It doesn't give off a very perfumey scent. It's very refreshing to put on the face. I'm definitely buying shade three. It, it's a barely there coverage that is vegan. It is organic. This is awesome. I am going to move on to some eyeshadows that I found. This is by Colored Rain. All of these shadows are so creamy, so soft, and easy to apply. So thank you for this challenge to show me these amazing eyeshadows. Starting on the right side, we have Shortcake. And then next to Shortcake, I have Malibu. Next to Malibu, I have Flashing Lights. Next to Flashing Lights, I have Who Me. And then at the very end, I have Gingerbread. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on my eye without any primer, just to show you how pigmented they really are. So first, I'm taking gingerbread and I'm gonna put this on the crease. I'm gonna use Shortcake next as a whole lid color. And I'll use Who Me in the outer corner. But I'm just kind of working my way inwards. You can really pack on these shapes. Kind of bringing this one into the inner corner. All right, so now I'm going back over the crease with gingerbread. Okay, so that's all wiped off. And now I'm gonna go back under the eye with gingerbread and a flat definer brush. I'm going ahead and add a thin line of eyeliner before I apply the lashes. And that is not a black owned company, so I'm just gonna do that off camera real quick. Next, I'm gonna move on to lashes, and the lashes that I chose are Lena Lashes. So the two styles I got are Dima and Liz. They make the cutest little boxes. They come in a little heart-shaped box, and you open it up, and your lashes are set up like so. I think that's such a cute idea, and I'm really excited to try these, so let's, let's try this. So I'm putting on the other lash, and oh my gosh, it is so big. Right off the bat, the lashes themselves are very soft and natural feeling. The band is a thicker band, so if you struggle with thick bands, I wouldn't recommend these. But if you're trying to get a dramatic look, try it out. So far, I've liked every product I've tried on, and the Lightweight might be all my favorites. The foundation, cream mineral, like, yes please. And those eyeshadows are so pigmented. The swatches on the camera don't even do it justice. So also from Lena Cosmetics, I got the Baby Matte Liquid 
lipstick. Comes in a very pretty little packaging. So my first impression of this is that it looks a lot like a Revlon bottle, except for, I don't know if you guys can tell this on camera, it is a lot bigger. Just there's a lot of product in this, let's just, let's just say that. Oh, I got the color Mild Brown, I'm gonna try it on. I'm first gonna use a little, little brush to do a little lining and then uh, I also want to say that this is vegan and cruelty free as well okay so I lined my lips and now I'm going in with just the applicator to fill them in so the look reminds me a lot of like a Revlon lipstick but the actual application and the way it feels on the lips reminds me a lot of the NYX lingerie um, liquid lip and I have to say that that one was my favorite just because it's so moisturizing this kind of beats it and I can officially say that I loved every product I've used anyways um, I challenge anyone that saw this to possibly even if you aren't on YouTube and you're just really inspired by makeup and you love makeup go do some research and if you don't want to do some research <laughs> if you don't want to do some research just check out these brands because they are honestly top-notch and if you are a youtuber and you see this my challenge is for you to create your own bomb makeup challenge anyways thank you so much for watching I love doing this makeup challenge it really opened up my eyes to all these brands that you don't necessarily know as a big brand name and I hope that I inspired some people if it was just one person like that means the world to me please like and subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you in my next video bye Every product I've tried to open, my dog is barking so loud. I'm sorry, guys. Of her prayers. Her nieces and her nephews are just pieces of the layers. Only one she loves as much as me is Jesus Christ. The lip color. I got a teacher song singing for my grandma. You sing it too. Find your grandma.